What's up guys, it's David. How's everybody today? Uh, today's video, we're gonna talk about um, my absolute favorite musician of all time, Prince. Um, I love all styles of music and that's one of the things that really drew, that drew me to Prince. You know, Prince was, um, when I was growing up, it was James Brown, Sly and the Family Stone, Jimi Hendrix. These are the guys I listened to. And when Prince came along in 1978, he just had that thing that I love, you know? So what I want to talk about today is I'm, I'm going to put it in my top 10 favorite Prince albums of, of all time. Um, this actually, this list changes ever, ever so often, uh, but the top three on this list always stays the same. Um, so I'm going to get right into it. One of the things about this, you're not going to hear me talk about Purple Rain because to me, Purple Rain is my least favorite album. I know all the Prince fans out there are probably going, huh? Um, a lot of people come up to me and say, oh, you love Prince? I was like, yeah, you know, and they're like, oh, I'm a Prince fan too. I was like, yeah, I really love that When Doves Cry. The minute you say that, pff, you don't know what you're talking about. Big Prince fan. Uh, see my Prince tattoo? Yep, Prince all the way. So I'm going to start from number 10 all the way down, my, my top 10 favorite Prince albums, uh, starting with number 10. Um, this is Prince's second release, um, came out in 1979, had his first big hit on it, I Want to Be a Lover. This, this, the, the dude, it's just, <laughs> Prince, Prince was just, he was just different, you know, Prince was just a crazy guy, I love Prince, um, but this album is one of the greatest albums. Uh, I Want to Be a Lover was his first big hit, um, Sexy Dancer, uh, I Feel For You, which Shaka Khan redid and won a Grammy. Well, Prince won the Grammy for it, but this is Prince's second album. Um, if you want to get into Prince, this is how you start. Start with this one and then work your way up. So this is number 10 for me. Um, number nine. This is a huge, huge, huge set. Uh, Emancipation. This came out in 96. It was uh, originally a three CD set. Um, a total of 36 songs literally all all the discs were an hour long so it was three hours of music this was the first release that he did when um he got off of warner brothers because they were giving him such a hard time as you see the symbol um it wasn't until like 2000 that he reverted back to being known as prince but this album was amazing the thing about this album also uh there's a song on here called somebody somebody and i am in that video <laughs> It was um, it was shot at Roseland in Manhattan at uh, one of the concerts one night, and his video crew came over with it. They were interviewing a bunch of people. I got interviewed, and a couple months later, I saw the video, and there I was. So this is really good. This album has, like I said, thirty six songs, and they're all they're just like it. It showcases Prince's ability to to. Uh, adapt to all styles of music you know what i mean it's jazz it's 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 rap it's 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 soul r&b uh funk which prince prince is a master at funk music when prince dropped the funk it was just stank you know this this album was really good one of the greatest songs on this album is called the love we make you know people are getting back to the whole purple rain everybody oh purple rain purple rain whatever this song is one of prince's greatest songs so check out this Check out this album, Emancipation. Really good. Uh, from 1988, Love Sexy. <laughs> when this album came out, this cover uh, in 88, they, at, at, the, at the record stores, or as Prince fans know it, as the record store, uh, this was sold behind the counter. They did not want to sell this on the floor for people to see. Make your own decision about what this is. But another one of Prince's great albums um alphabet street one of my favorite songs the the guitar work on that love it dance on the title track this is a, a classic prince album that probably didn't get enough airplay because of the picture on the cover you know freak some people out whatever you know uh but this is another great classic prince and the concert that that he went on tour with this album was just just out of this world uh another this is, uh, what number is that? That was number eight. This is number seven. <laughs> um, another classic Prince album, Parade. This was actually the soundtrack to his second film, Under the Cherry Moon. Um, the big hit on this was Kiss. 
everybody loved that song and this is really what brought as a Prince fan, you know, with the funk, this this album was just this funky, you know, and 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 Kiss was classic. But to me, the the best song on this album is a little instrumental track called Venus de Milo. Um, really showcases Prince and his genius, you know. And um, sometimes it snows in April. Really classic Prince album this is. And the movie was the movie's hilarious. If you ever get a chance to see the movie. I know coming off the heels of Purple Rain, it, it's not considered like a classic like Purple Rain the movie is, um, but this is a really great soundtrack album. Great movie too. Um, number six, Around the World in a Day. This um, is the album that came after Purple Rain. And what's amazing about this, it came like a, almost a year later. And for those, a lot of artists, you know, they get successful with a, a certain type of music, so their next album pretty much sounds the same. This album is so different that when you heard it, it was like, wait a minute, this is not Purple Rain Part 2. You know what? I'm not going to talk about Purple Rain anymore. This is Around the World in a Day. The big hit that came off of this was Raspberry Beret. Everybody knows this, but to me, the, the, the track on here is the song America. And the B-sides that came off you know, Prince would release a single and then the B-side is what we really wanted to hear. The America song, the um, extended version was like 21 minutes long. Um, the B-sides, Hello, She's Always In My Hair. Those are classic Prince tracks. Classic, classic. Um, number five. This album, a lot of people, they did not like this album. They didn't like the direction it went in. And love a, a, a true Prince fan, you gotta love it. This is kind of like uh, Prince's Prince referred to being a Jehovah's Witness, and this is kind of his Jehovah's Witness album. And uh, a lot of people find it controversial. Some of the things that he he he's talking about on this, but as you can see, I never opened this the vinyl. I have it on CD also, so a lot of the vinyls I collect. I collect a lot of Prince stuff. This album, The Rainbow Children, is amazing. Very jazzy. It's got the funk. It's got a little bit of the rock. Great album. This one right here, number number four, uh, Lotus Flower. A lot of people don't know about this album. Uh, when it came out, it was a three CD set. It's um, not for everyone, but this is a Prince's more like a rock rock album. Uh, the big hit on here was Dreamer. Um, there's also a cover of Crimson and Clover, which is, is amazing. Um, so it, it's, check this album out. You know, this is, this is great, you know? Now, my top three albums of all time, and like I said, this list never changes. This, this, this stays the same. The other ones might change. Controversy might come in there, but these three, these, these are my favorite albums. This one right here. Everyone knows this. 1999. 1999 is... Everyone knows that song. It, it's amazing. Uh, Little Red Corvette. Uh, what else is on here? Um, wow. Lady Cab Driver, Automatic, uh, Let's Pretend We're Married, which uh, actually Tina Turner redid that song. Well, by the way, my shirt says, ever since Prince died, shit's been weird. That's a fact. <laughs> but 1999 is just, everyone knows that song. This, this album came out in 1982. Around that time, um, Thriller came out, and uh, this was the album I was listening to. Actually, on, on cassette tape. I must have worn out this cassette tape. I'm, I Probably like six, seven tapes I bought, and I just, listening to it over and over, I just wore it out. But the vinyl, 1999, great album. Ah, this one right here, Sign of the Times. Um, to most Prince fans, this is the number one Prince album of all time. This is, it, critics, uh, fans consider this his greatest, greatest work. The The thing about this is that, um, what, what was the songs on here? You, uh, you Got the Look, you know, stuff like that. The title track, Sign of the Times, House Quake. If you're a Prince fan, you know about this. Um, this album though, I really wish he had toured the United States with this album, but he did a lot of it in Europe. Um, and he gave us a concert film. If you ever want to see Prince at his greatest, check out the, the concert film, Sign of the Times. This album is, is 
like I said, a lot of Prince fans, this is the number one album of all time. Not Purple Rain. Oh, I said I was going to talk about it, but sign of the times. Um, with that being said, a couple years ago, his estate put out a box set of Sign of the Times. The original album is on here, but man, they took stuff out of the vault and the stuff that's on this box set. Like if you were thinking about getting into Prince and listening to, to his genius, get yourself this box set right here. Like I said, the original album is on here and, and all these tracks from the vault uh, there's a, a concert uh, DVD in here. Get this album. This is the box. Of, this is amazing. Now, my number one Prince album of all time uh, that came out, that, that changed my life, that said, you know what? This guy is the guy I listen to, Dirty Mind. Dirty Mind is, to me, the greatest Prince album. Look at this go. <laughs> Prince, Prince is just freaky. This album right here, Dirty Mind, is, is just incredible. All the songs on here, When You Were Mine, uh, who, did, who did that? I think Cindy Lauper and a couple other people did that. But the song on this album that, that, that really made me a huge Prince fan was Uptown. There's a line in that song that goes, Where I come from, we don't let society tell us how it's supposed to be. Our clothes, our hair, we don't care. This right here was the, the album that said, you know what, this guy, he doesn't give a shit about what you think, he's gonna do it his way. And that's what I love about Prince, he didn't care. This is, this is classic, this is my number one Prince album of all time, and I know a lot of hardcore Prince people out there, this is your number one also, the best. Um, but with that being said, that's my list, but I have to give a little shout out to his very first, very first album, For You. This is what started it all back in 1978, and Prince with his big, big afro. The thing about this, this is how he came out looking in 1978, and up until he passed away in the last four years of his life, he went back to wearing his hair like this with the afro, which was, was cool. This album, um, like I said, 78, the final track on this album is called I'm Yours. When you listen to that, you can tell that this guy was a genius. Cause like I said, with Prince, when you when you got a Prince album, it, all these, it says on the back, I don't know if you can see it, produced, arranged, composed, and performed by Prince. He did it all on his own. He was the one playing the instruments. He wrote it, he did everything. And when you saw Prince on stage, you got it, you got it real. It wasn't any kind of like uh, lip syncing like a lot of artists do today. I mean, you spend three hundred dollars for the nosebleed seats, and then you they 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 sit on stage and they they lip sync. Forget about that. Prince never never did it to you like that. You got your money's worth. So that's it. I know this video was quick. I kind of rambled on. Uh, Prince fans out there, this is for you. You tell me what your favorite uh, Prince albums are, how Prince influenced you, and all that. And um, I'll see you on the next video. All right, bye.